I want to talk to you about making Teshuvah. In Luke chapter 13, verse 3, he says, I say unto you, unless you make Teshuvah, you will all alike perish. That means you won't go to heaven. That means that your fate will be the same fate as the unbelievers. And very often you will have someone who comes to your Kehilah and basically they want the mikvah. But they really want it uh, as some kind of ritual or rite. Uh, they feel like if they just do this, uh, if they just get immersed in the mikvah, uh, all their demonic problems will go away. And uh, they want to just confess the, the Mashiach in the mikvah. Okay, fine. Uh, you can do that. But I, I have to warn you about uh, the other because... Teshuvah is what this is all about. Yohanan of the Mikvamayim of the Teshuvah, he, he was out there in the Jordan and he was preaching Teshuvah. He had a very hard message. A lot of people didn't like his message. As a matter of fact, he got his head cut off. But, um, but if, you, if you really think about it, it's extremely important to realize that, that there is a confession that we have to make, confession of Moshiach. It's a uh, Hoda'ah confession, Matthew 10, 32. He says, therefore, everyone who shall declare publicly the Ani Ma'amin Hoda'ah of me, that is, as Moshiach, before B'nai Ha'adam, I will make Hoda'ah acknowledgement of him before Avi Shabbat Shemayim. At the great assize, when the goats are being separated from the sheep and the goats are going off into the eternal fire, you will want at that time Moshiach to say, to confess you, to make the, the good confession, the Hoda'ah confession uh, before Avi Shabbat Shemaim. And uh, this means that um, he is the, listen, you have this problem with the het kadmon, uh, downward pull of the flesh. It, it's inherited through the fathers back to Adam. It, it, it's why we don't have to be taught to be sinners. It comes naturally. But Moshiach, he is the het kadmon moil knife. The word in Yiddish is meser. Mem, ayin, samik, ayin, resh. It's the little knife that is used to cut away the foreskin.